Live from Shadow Studios, it's Talkie Box. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Ooh, Pokemon. You, you have to catch them all. Yeah. You know, there's there's talk that AIDS. they're going to be coming out with a a new game very soon. Oh yeah? Yeah, the Pokemon's game. Is oh. it actually a new game or is it like a remaster of an old game? So what color is it gonna be this time? I don't know, but I know that it's supposed to come out for the new Nintendo Switch. Yeah. It's gonna be like the first main series game on a console. Okay. It's supposed to be interesting. I call Ash it is Pokemon still 14. Glitter or Pokemon Sparkles. I think it's Pokemon Stars, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think it's Pokemon Stars. Are they going to Are they going to put out two of them? Like they usually do two at a time. I think it's going to be like a a third Pokemon version Stars and to Pokemon the Void Space. Sun, Sun and Moon. Moon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Black so hole. It's gonna Pokemon be like Black a, Hole. Yeah. <laughs> That's too long of a name. Is it Pokemon Hole? Pokemon Black Hole. You yeah. got Pokemon, and then you got Black Hole. Well, yeah, they've I already had, like, what, red fire and blue ice or some fire shit? Fire red, like, leaf green. They yeah. had, uh, it's they're actually syllable, coming though. out with uh, updates so to it's black hole. Black and hole. <laughs> they're coming out with ultra sun <laughs> and ultra syllable. moon as well. Look, like, yeah. English is my second language, guys. There you go. Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know if that's true. You can't really. <laughs> Google the facts. You can't split <laughs> West Coast American and East Coast American into two different languages. No. You're not allowed to do that? You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. Why? Mm-hmm. So, guys, I say uh, so. I'm Dave. Dave! Host, host of the of the Chalky Box. What's up, Dave, host of Chalky Box? Yeah, you know, doing a show. Right your on. hair's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, man. And you, I love your beard and your mustache. I'm so glad it's coming back. Me too. Yeah. Like, if you haven't already seen the, the show where Tech and I did uh, Black Mask, the, the, the charcoal mask, after I shaved and looked terrible for two weeks... Um, you need to go watch so it. it. Yeah, go watch it. It sharpens your face appropriately. Like when you're clean shaven, mm-hmm. you're you have way too much too much chub softness <laughs> in your face. I wouldn't softness. say chub. You uh, look I like a baby. Like I, don't, I definitely notice when I shave. Like I notice a lot more, a lot more double chin going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just it gives better lines. Yeah. to your face, more, <laughs> more definition. Right. Jason is the one complimenting me right now. I'm Jason, got, the one weird. complimenting Dave Very weirdly weird. right now. And definition. Then we got Tech is flexing. Yep. Tech is flexing. Trying to get those definitions. Justin's doodling. Justin's doodling. Doodle. Yeah. That sounds like a talkie box episode. <laughs> there we go. All right. What is this? Sure. Uh, this is our first episode, right? Our number first 45? episode, number 45, yeah. All our right. first 45th episode. We're coming up on a year of doing the show. Wow. Damn. Um, we haven't been doing video shows the whole time, but like. We we started October sixteenth, I think, was the the first published uh, talkie box episode. So we're getting we're like a month away. Would you say we're so. funnier now that you can see us? Uh, definitely, your faces. Oh, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> he aims for it. I mean, I put it out there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm. So I'm gonna say something. Oh God! And and you love Eskimo it's, it's the worst too. way. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say the Tech worst has thing. Been craving the worst like way this. I can describe to you what I'm, what I'm about to talk about. Uh, last night I saw a dick pic. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. you know, wait, 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 hold we, had, we had tips and tricks on those not too long ago. Right. 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 Did it's, they follow any of them? No. No. And I'll get to that in a second. They didn't dress it up. No. Loser. They, they, they obviously don't watch the show. No, no top hats or nothing. Was this at like yeah. dinner? So no. Last night, uh, Tech and I and a, <coughs> and a bunch of other friends were bowling. And uh, our friend, bully. our friend Kayla was there, and and at one point I see her looking at her phone with this really like frustrated look. And I was like, "What's up?" And she's like, "She she has Snapchat open." Now I don't know a whole lot about Snapchat. I don't have it on my phone, Snapchat. but so I haven't really, you know, she it, she showed it to me. It's just a bunch of like names or screen names or something on there, and like a little like play symbol, like the triangle for play or like a, a stop symbol. And I was like, "What do you? What's up?" And she's like. This guy sent me something, and I know it's a dick pic. I haven't opened it yet, but I know it is. And I was like, wow. "How does she know?" She just I, apparently it's happened before. So, <laughs> and they were probably chitty chatting, maybe contextually. Well, he she might have just sent something from what, like, from "Hey, what girl, she said about to, me, to send I don't, that dick pic." I don't know if they met on like on like <laughs> Tinder or whatever, but from what she said, like she she mess like she talked to the guy once. And ever since then, he's just been sending dick pic after dick pic. So she's like, <laughs> oh she's like, damn it. And I was like, fine, here, I'll take it. We'll see what it is. And I click, sure enough, dick pic. Hashtag, it was a video of a dick pic. It wasn't. It was just a picture. Whoa. But <coughs> Hashtag show me your genitals. And I'm just, I, 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 mean, I saw it uh, and turned it away. And then, and then, like, the image is in my head forever because those that, that didn't go away. And so. It's like he got slapped with a dick right there. Kind huh? of. 
But then I'm like, wow, that was his choice? Like, anyone who gets a dick pic should know this, that the dick pic you get is not the first one that was taken. It's never, like, there's, it's never the first one. It's never no. like, yeah, that's it. The guy literally sits there. Which means oh, this guy what? took that Different picture angles. and was like, mm, <coughs> this is that's the one, the one that's going to do it. That's the one that's going to get this girl. And he, that was terrible. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to say that. <clears throat> he didn't dress it up. He didn't trim it up. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah. Now we're getting tons of details. Yeah. I think I need to add more to my drawing here. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel as though maybe this is my personal, you know, disillusioned stance mm-hmm. that unless a dick pic is strictly and explicitly requested, yeah. you don't send a dick pic. No, you shouldn't. No, we well, talked about this. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's all of this. I there are no winners in a No dick one wins pic. with a dick pic. Yes. Not unless they're like, I would really like a dick pic. Even it, then, even then, you it, have to you have to play it cool. Yeah, the girl's probably gonna get it like, eh. Now I'll show it to all my I friends. I would have liked a better one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now <coughs> I have nothing to look forward to. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the that, I have the same image burned in my mind. So when are you starting you to therapy the rest face. of my life? And see, the the crazy thing is, is you've probably seen through pornography yeah. plenty of penises in your life true but none of those are burned into your mind you right. know why because while watching pornography you take the place of that dick yeah and it kind of becomes your dick <laughs> whereas in a dick pic it's completely strange right. there's there's no like romanticizing nope. or anything like that there's no it's not even any sexualizing it's just mm-hmm. like that is someone else's penis yeah it's like I'm Doctor Montero. That I did not and ask for. This thing's kind of spotty. <laughs> there's, there's, right. there's weird. Like I don't even know which way I'm supposed to hold it. <laughs> I can't even watch this anymore. Yeah. Nope. You want more details? Because I'll give it to you. I so, just, I, I just, I just I, added the hashtag. <laughs> I'm porno curious. Dick is your dick. Only That's one more detail that I ask for. Uh huh. Limp or erect? Oh. It was erect. Okay. However, it however, wasn't, it wasn't even the entire. Like it was, it was as if. The guy had taken the picture in a laying down position. Okay. And so and so the penis was like towards his face, I guess you could say, okay, right? Yeah. yeah. And then but the way he took the picture, you couldn't see the head of it. And so it's just like shaft and balls. Oh. Huh. The fuck? Yeah. And like I said, that's the picture he chose. He's like, this is the one. Oh, well, he's got to go for his good side. I guess. <laughs> you know. The undersize. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Maybe he's got a some, you know, you know what would be hilarious is if that was a picture from an online service and then they meet up later on. They're like, the dick pic that you sent me was is not your dick. Yeah. Now, I did tell, like, we, she well, This and does I, not look like it looked in the picture. She now, who did, would do that? Who would send <coughs> another person's dick pic? Like, to lure well, somebody in. <laughs> that's the thing, though. That's what I'm I told her to you. do in response. Was send, send, another another dick. send another dick pic. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, either, either that. Did either, you offer up your dick pic, Dave? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send a picture of my dick right now, and then you'll have a picture on your phone. That's right. Um, and you can send that to whoever you want. Okay. That's actually great um, advice, Dave. For right? her for her to, like, fight fire with fire. Yeah. Like, yeah. You send dick me an dick. auto-wanted dick pic, like, I'd pick the meanest, <laughs> shiniest, most <laughs> handsome black dick I could find. Like, you know, like uh, Lexington Steel. I believe that's a very well-endowed black pornographer. Mandingo, uh, and I think that, ah! <laughs> and that's what I would send him. Yeah, I told her either either send him a dick pic or just send like a one word response, like hey. cute or aw, <laughs> oh he's so cute, <laughs> see, or or see, just something I, 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 something I would, I would diminishing for, his ego about his penis. I would go for the I don't know emoji. <laughs> just give the one of those. Yeah. Huh. Or just look around the room in the picture and be like, "All right, pick something out." Oh, your room is there messy. There wasn't you anything in the room. Up. It was like all <laughs> that was that was it. It was just darkness and that. Wow, it's burned to my head, dude. <laughs> like, I know what was there. I feel so bad for you. Yeah. So I sent it all your phones. Um, I have an old phone. <laughs> Won't even work. Yeah. Uh, we don't get signal inside the, this area, so. Uh. Also, I think if if someone were to do that, I would, <coughs> in the same regard of dressing up my penis, mm-hmm. I would actually, if I were a lady that was getting unrequested dick pics, I would send them on a mission, be like, "That's beautiful. I love it. Could you do a few more for me, to really get me going?" <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I would love a picture of it, like, in the silverware drawer. Like, like <laughs> lay it out in the silverware drawer <laughs> on top of your spoons. Like, I want to see knives, forks, your cock on top of spoons. Yeah. Like, okay, that was great. Now let's... I, I want to see you shaving it with a straight razor. <laughs> yeah, you know, that kind like of... A, just like a, a dick pic scavenger hunt. Kid. Exactly. <laughs> like, I want you to do this with your penis and yeah. send a picture of it. I want you to go and do this. <laughs> now now go to Stone Mountain during the laser show. And like <laughs> all right, so for all you ladies out there, or guys, if you are receiving unrequested dick pics, give, the th- give this a shot. Or Facebook message Talkie Box and one of our illustrious cast members here will yeah. help you with the responses needed absolutely to completely humiliate this and person. we i i, I really want this we will not send you our dick pics no we no, won't no, be the no. No. no i'm trying to run a show here <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to go out like that it's already bad enough that i got this whole he's a giant racist thing card that i have to play i wouldn't say giant <laughs> i mean tall. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say have to but you keep doing it yeah <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to fill the the irritant role. Well, you're I feel like we're much more likely to get a whole lot of views from mm-hmm. people hating me yeah. than from people loving us. So when are we gonna Maybe. do something horrible to it's you? It's a it's a safe gamble. Yeah. I feel like safe. Huh? When are we gonna do something horrible to me? Is that what you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get to determine that schedule. <laughs> That's <laughs> us. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What do you think about I'm it? sorry. Hey, How's take off your mic real quick. We need to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> How's next Friday for you? All right, go stand in the corner and cover your eyes. The grown ups have some things to talk about. <laughs> so I've got topics. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I wrote, I wrote yeah, down things some you want to talk about tonight. Well, things that are going on that we might uh, find interesting. Maybe even our audience will be entertained by some of the stuff. Who knows? They're probably tired of dick pics, though, at this junction, at this, <laughs> this point. This is our second dick pic topic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like we're really beating months. these dicks. I will say, last night, I actually wanted to climb that Eiffel Tower. Out of context, that's I was just thinking super about out it. of context. I was like, <laughs> are we oh. talking, is that metaphorically you want to climb? No. There's legitimately <laughs> an Eiffel Tower. We, like, So after bowling, we went, we went to <coughs> eat... Uh, in this in this area of Duluth, it's like Little Korea, and I know it doesn't make any sense when we mention Eiffel Tower. Uh-huh. Neither does the Eiffel Tower in Little Korea, and a dinosaur in a building. Yeah, so there's this place uh, called I Love Pho, and it's a Vietnamese place, but it's in this big shopping center, and in the middle of it is a Eiffel replica Tower. of the Eiffel Tower. It's not nearly as tall as the actual Eiffel Tower, right? But Tech decided he wanted to climb it. And he kind of did, and then he got scared and jumped off. Yeah, because I, I didn't want to get shot. No. Oh, we have a video. Do we? Yeah, um, Amanda had it. Oh, nice. Well, let's let's get that put in the Dropbox and throw that up on the site. We can do that. Yeah, get your friend to send that to you, and, and we'll throw it up on there. And then show, I, show Tech climbing the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> just watch like the a, next Like a morning. miniature King Kong. I, that's what <laughs> I was just thinking about. <laughs> like, we could have, like, Wouldn't little I be airplane Godzilla? noises. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Wouldn't I be Godzilla? No. no. Why? I'm what? Asian. Yeah, I can't be King Godzilla Kong. don't climb buildings. King Kong climbs buildings. Yeah, see? But he didn't climb the Eiffel Tower? Neither, Neither Godzilla. Neither did Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla didn't climb shit. Oh, he just, just, he just there, smashed stuff. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> is that, there is Godzilla? That, yeah. Is no. that the noise? I think Mothra. <laughs> Mothra is uh, from France. Okay. Mothra. Mothra. I made that up. Yeah, you did. I don't know. <laughs> Talking out of your ass? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was you just trying Google to give facts. France a giant monster, <laughs> and I don't think they have one. Mm. Do they need one? They're already France. Viva la France! I mean, uh-huh. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> I do love a good croissant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hey, did you guys hear about this? Maybe not. Walgreens. You guys know, I know about, about this place? They, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Green Wall. Uh, Cokes and Hallmark cards. And they sell. Uh, they got drugs. a drive drive through drugstore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they Walgreens Boots Alliance Incorporated. That's the name of the company. I don't know if Boots is a shareholder, <laughs> or if it's something Walgreens got into at some point. They're into Boots. I don't. I don't know why it's Walgreens Boots Alliance Incorporated, but it is. And they bought Rite Aid Corporation. Now Rite Aid already bought Eckerd a while back, right? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, and that is... I don't know why I know all this drugstore trivia. Uh, because 
they all Dreads. went out of business, and then a few of them got replaced by <coughs> the Rite yeah. Aids, but a lot of them just sat abandoned. So now it's Walgreens and CVS is what you're telling me. Yes. Hmm. Uh, Walgreens has basically been trying to buy Rite, Aid, Rite Aid for the last two years and has had failed attempts over and over and over. But I guess recently Rite Aid went through another difficult time and like had to cut a bunch of stores loose. Right. And so Walgreens bid $4.4 billion to buy the last 1,932 Rite Aid stores. That's a lot of stores that are still around, actually. Yeah, that's, that's huh. a pretty decent amount. You hey, said 1, Google 000, the facts. 1,932. Jack, I owe you $2 now. $3, actually. No, five dollars. Does Jackie watch this? I'm, I need to tell her. We need to go send this video. I, she knows about the show. You tell Jackie she needs to watch this. <laughs> Tired of Jackie not watching this show. Yeah. Always hanging out, not watching the show. <laughs> God. I think this is gonna be my new thing now. Can it not be? Why? <laughs> All right. Well, Distracting. As, as entertaining as that is, I'm gonna move on with other <coughs> facts. Yeah. Um. Shoot us the facts. This one, this one I think you guys might actually latch on to because it's not about something that matters. In Colorado Springs, Colorado, a female jogger has been on the runs from the police. I heard about this. Coined the mad pooper yeah. by onlookers. <laughs> this fitness buff has been defecating in several parts of the neighborhood, according to witness statements read by Lieutenant Howard Black, of the Colorado Springs Police Department. And so basically the story is a lady gets up and does her morning jogs yeah. around this neighborhood park area. <laughs> and I guess in the jog, it sort of falls out, loosens some things up. And apparently every couple of days she is caught squatting somewhere pooping in the, in during, park. during her jog. And, like, apparently several people have reported it. She has done it in front of children. Oh, my like, God. Like, like, out, you know, in the oh, yard wow. waiting on the bus. Yeah. And, like, you know, just cop to squat in a bush. If she gets arrested, that, she'll get on the sex offender registry for that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I imagine she's trying not to get arrested. Yeah. I mean, Well, yeah. you should stop taking shit inside the <laughs> parks. Right. Like I, I mean, but she's trying to get her fitness in though. Well, guys. maybe she needs to she needs to start her day with that shit. I'm just saying, then go run. Listen, wake up an but hour early, up jog around the house three times, <laughs> take your poop, <laughs> then go for your finish run. Yeah, like it's just uh, it's crazy. Th doesn't she know about the pre-workout poop? She doesn't. It's, doesn't. It amazes Jack, me. Get in touch with her. I I need Let's to. Let's get uh, into her psyche. If if you're uh, watching this, uh, contact me. I'll, I'll help you out. Uh, yeah. You know, figure I, out this pre-workout poop. It amazes me that this this is hap like it's it's one thing for it to happen once. And it's like, oh man, that was terrible. I'm but so then for it to happen multiple times. Mm -hmm. No, 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 ridiculous. because because here's how it happened. It it happened once, and she's like, oh no, oh no, oh no. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just doing it. Yeah. She does it. Yeah. She gets away with it. And she's like, uh, hopefully I don't have to do that again. And then it creeps up again some other time. And she's like, well, I got away with it last time. Boom. Habit formed. Now, every time she runs, she has First to poop. First of all, now she can't poop unless she's on the run. She has to <laughs> That's poop evolution. on the run. That's Darwin. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. Darwinism at its best. First of all, how did she wipe her butt? She didn't. I'm Wouldn't sure that didn't. mean I'm guessing she's she going to be like... She'll have poop chafe. Now, there are photos... <laughs> There are photos of her. None of them are very high quality, right. but there are a lot and of photos, photos of, sure, yeah. of her jogging around and stuff like that. And she does have a fanny pack, mm -hmm. so maybe she keeps some hygiene items in that fanny pack. But no one knows who it is, right? No, no. So no one has taken the time to like follow her home and be like, oh, it's the woman that lives here. Maybe she's a strong jogger. I mean, well, maybe if she was a strong like jogger, a, wouldn't she be able to like jog her way back home real quick? All I know maybe is if she has poop <laughs> running down the back of her legs and she's really kicking it, there there's going to be some splatter. You want to stay away from that. True. That's gross. Yeah. But maybe or, maybe she's doing you know, 10 miles. Someone maybe could just follow her miles. in their car, like just kind of pace her in their car. Like, but the is, moment she realizes that, isn't she just Then gonna, what? What's she going to do? Never go home? Yeah, cut down a trail that people can't follow you what on? What trail? It's a neighborhood. It's a park. It's a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood park. That is like borders on a park. And oh, so okay. she's jogging around the park, 
pooping in front of houses. Uh, oh, it's very houses. Houses. <laughs> in in like in the middle of a neighborhood. Yeah. I, well, like it's just a little. You know. And even if it's the middle of a neighborhood, she could just be like, "Oh, I'm being followed." <laughs> cut through houses, cut through backyards and stuff. Still. It's easy when you're on foot <laughs> to lose a car. I mean, yeah, but they know she lives in that And it's not because I I've need somebody to follow cops. this. Like, can we get Google alerts on this or something? I need updates on this story <laughs> as they happen, breaking news style. Breaking news. We found the chick popping a squat you know, right the now. The shitty thing is, and I said that on purpose. Yep. Um, of course you did. This this episode ain't even going to be on online until like well, after she's caught. Maybe week, they will so have like, found her yeah. by the time that this comes out. And maybe it'll we be... can do a follow-up. Yeah. Or they won't find her. Or maybe she'll see that she has made national fucking <laughs> news and will stop pooping. <laughs> or go to a different park. Or well, yeah, That's what I was thinking. Like, Just go to a different park. At some point, she, she's no, like, I, I can't do this here anymore. I got to change my is route. She, is she picking it up? I, or is she they, just leaving it they there? They didn't get scoop? into a lot of detail. <laughs> Legitimately, there weren't a whole lot of detail. Yeah. It was more just like a, a ha-ha kind of <laughs> mad pooper article. <laughs> and You legit read a poop article. I did. Yeah. Well, yeah. I read a lot of stuff. About poop. About articles. <laughs> you know, of Some poop. of them are, are poop related. <laughs> You know, Article everybody does articles. it, Jack. It's true. So no, you're literally talking shit. There's no reason for you to be embarrassed because of your bowel movements, Jack. Look, listen. Unless they're listen. in front of children in my fucking <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> in yeah, that's case, not okay. I will find your house. Okay. I will pop a squat right in front of the door. Put a new meaning to uh, shit in a bag and burn it. Because I won't set it on fire and it <laughs> oh, won't be in a Whatever bag. it's called. What is <laughs> I'm just going to shit on <laughs> your stoop. I'll call it the welcome mat. <laughs> Write that down. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> you write that down. <laughs> I notice you don't have a welcome mat, so I shit in front of your door. It's your welcome, welcome mat. Welcome home. Uh, that's, that's actually, and if for that, I would probably stomp it down real good before I left. So that way it's flat. Right. Like a mat. And but why would you stomp your down your old then shit? Then you have poop huh? on your shoes. Right. Yeah. So... So I'm I'm deliberately sending a poop based message <laughs> to somebody. But most of the poop is gonna stay on your foot. Yeah, but they're gonna come home to a shit mat. <laughs> yeah, but you're the one who's gonna have to spray the poop off your shoes. They're just gonna step over the poop. I mean, obviously I'm doing this. I have a lot of hate in my heart, <laughs> right? I'm willing to go the extra mile. See, I would just I lay would take the poop a stick and on write welcome in it. <laughs> <laughs> that See, is something you would do. I would just <laughs> pop a squat and do the do the duck, and then while I'm taking shit, make a straight line. Okay. Oh. Trail of poop. See, right what in front is, of the door. And now, now you're getting episode? a workout while you're pooping. That's true. Because duck walking's tough. <laughs> <coughs> what is this episode? We've had dick pics and shit talk. You know. Okay, so we're there was this. Audience. <laughs> <laughs> there was this thing that NASA did. Did you want to hear about? Uh, is it related to bodily functions? Yes. In space. Kind of, but not entirely. Okay, let's hear it. So uh, six scientists just got released from a geodesic dome in Hawaii. Cool. Like a biodome? Like a (laughs) biodome where they were uh, (laughs) experimenting on, you know, isolation techniques uh, in preparation. Well, not in preparation, but just like seeing how humans could handle isolation on Mars. It's all part of like a Mars mission. So they've been in there for eight months. See, I saw that documentary that um, uh, Jason Bourne did. Yeah. yeah. About being Marcia. on Mars. Did you see the one with the that Val Kilmer did with the robot? Uh, I might have. Mm. I think I might have seen that. Was it the mission to Mars or was that Lieutenant Dan? It was Red Planet. That was Mars. Was Lieutenant Dan? Dan. That was Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. Man, you know, I don't know why they're doing this study because obviously we've been going to Mars for a long time now. Yeah. We have it figured out. Like, we know how to grow plants on Mars, so yeah. why aren't we there? We've got potatoes on Mars. Mm-hmm. There's, like, a face on Mars right. with, like, a bunch of alien technology Periods. in it. There's Yeah, there's all kinds of... I'm pretty sure Arnold Schwarzenegger was on Mars. That's right. Before yep. that other guy did that weird remake that wasn't on Mars. Right. Oh, didn't his head blow up? Almost. Almost. His mask. That lo- lack of oxygen. Oh, yeah. When the it was pressurized at the very end. Yeah. And, and they did, like, the crazy CG. Uh, of his eyeballs and stuff mm. popping out of the skull. There would be no way the I don't skull... Think that, was that CG or was no, that No, that was like, puppets. Yeah, that, that was, was like claymation. Puppets. That was like claymation yeah. or something. Like uh, Pee-wee's Big ah. Adventure, the the truck driver, the ghost truck driver. 
No, I might have gone too deep in the <laughs> reference material. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I like to isolate my audience down yeah. to where only one person gets the joke at the yeah. end. I don't you, think you get it, did. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you're one guy that saw Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Why does that have to be a guy? Uh, because women don't watch Pee Wee Herman. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag uh, Paul Rubin. Jerks it. <laughs> <laughs> Right uh, I can do that. I can I can just say random things after <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag Paul. <laughs> so tell me about this bio though. What happened? Did was they? Was Polly Shore there? Was Polly Shore there? No, was they were just uh, they they were uh, in Baldwin Hawaii. Kid? They were allowed to get communique from Earth, but in the sake of like keeping in with the experiment, it took them twenty hours to get any information that they requested, and they only got snapshots of article titles instead of actual links to the articles. Hmm. What? <laughs> when you made that face, I was like, snapshots, dick pic. <laughs> That's in your head now. Yeah. Martian dick pics. Yep. That's where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks well, for tech. But, like, they, they were in the path of um, one of the hurricanes, so they were, like, having to get updates, but they were only getting them every 20 hours. <laughs> about what's happening with this hurricane, so they're trying to pretend they're on another planet, while at the same time they're like, we could get fucking hit with this hurricane, <laughs> that where we actually are. See, if I were one of the the handlers, basically one of the project handlers for this, I would just use the actual real Earth hurricane as like a powerful Martian storm yeah. that was... About That's to gonna kill them. That was about to hit them, but and basically no have them there. prepare for this. No, there's no control on Mars, dude. <laughs> no, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like in an experiment, you have to have controls and variables. Mm -hmm. So they have no control in the storm stakes, so they can't really measure what the impact would be. I mean, they can see it's, what kind of damage it did, but in terms of like how they can gauge their yeah. reaction, there's no. Like real conclusive data there. Well, they could improvisationally they could gauge like what preparatorial standards are used and like what kind of outside of the box things they might have to consider because whoever is the first manned mission to Mars, they're gonna have a lot of those scenarios. They're gonna have a lot you know, of stuff they're where they're for. just gonna have to wing it or die. And so, like, I feel like if we're doing anything like that any scenarios like that here on Earth to prepare for that, we should hit them with just as many random occurrences as we possibly could so yeah. that they can be as prepared as possible for terraforming. Send them, uh, what's what's that guy's name? Uh, Survivor Man. Survivor but, Man to Mars. But you, you'd want there to be a control so you could repeat the experiment and improve on it instead of just like, well, we got hit by a hurricane. Rebuild. Yeah, Go. Rather than just <coughs> losing all of your data because a variable kicked up here on Earth that affected all of your Martian data, yeah. then you just, rather than scrapping the whole project because a hurricane is coming through, now it's a an evolved project. And we're just going to get whatever data we can. People are real finicky about their money, though. I mean, mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. And I imagine it was probably millions or billions of dollars spent on this project probably not from super rich but probably from like taxpayers or yeah, something. Yeah, probably a little bit from there also. I mean, probably a little bit, but you know. Also, I think the University of Hawaii was involved also. Yeah. But yeah, I mean it, it was very, in, like they spent eight months isolated in the geodesic dome like trying to grow their own food and recycle their own water and just like keep everything How, how did they do? Was there anything about that in the... There, there was nothing in it about uh, what... Um, the results of their experiments were... They never turned on each other or ate one another. <laughs> nope, they all survived. Okay, all of them Mr. Survived. President. I'm just saying. Any injuries at all? Or? No, I mean, it seemed like it was pretty hunky-dory. It seems like the most boring goddamn experiment. I think it should be more like... They the were living song. isolated for eight eight <laughs> months. Yeah. That's a long time. Like, they should all, like, agree to do the project mm -hmm. and then just get, like gassed and knocked out like in the middle of the night and then just wake up in some kind of like biosphere <laughs> where, <laughs> where they're just they're completely yeah. unprepared for for everything and creepy ass puppet wants to play a game and oh yeah yeah and really just try and like get them <laughs> to turn on each other like see because 
I feel like isolation in a controlled environment, like all of these scientists, they have this in the back of their head, we're really on Earth. We can go outside and breathe air. Like, we can get a glass of water before we die. Like, there's yeah. all of these things that prevent them from really reaching their potential or downward spiraling into hellacious uh, demon monsters. <laughs> you know, and both of those things could occur yeah. in the true scenario, but in this controlled Earth environment where they're just pretending, mm. I can't imagine science is, scientists being immersive enough right. to, like, really start to feel the fear so of life. Well, like, they, they, even when they left, in order to leave the dome, like, at the end of that thing, they had to put on, like, full-scale elaborate space suits and, like, venture out into the landscape and, like, go through all of these different protocols to determine that it was a safe enough environment for them to actually get out of their space suits. But did they have to, like, go outside and, like, fight off, like, a velociraptor or you know anything like that any kind of crazy you just want somebody to die i just want it to be interesting <laughs> so i just want die. it to be a movie yeah yeah i want, that's I, want not... I want science to be more uh creative well, so, that, right, so, so that more people there's are, definitely irradiated Velociraptors on Mars. We gotta fit that scenario in there somehow. <laughs> Let's give them testing for the irradiated <laughs> Velociraptors. We're allowed to wag the dog when it comes to history. Why can't we wag the dog a little bit when it comes to science? I'm not saying change the facts. I'm not saying take the science out of it. I'm just saying throw some chaos in. Throw, a little, throw a little art. Throw a little chaos. Yeah. Like give it some feel. Give it some reality. Give it some truth. Because like I feel like an experiment like that like biodome is more the movie biodome would be more along the lines of like the true chaos that <laughs> a situation like that would probably see rather than the super controlled static like oh we've got to check this and we've got to so make what, sure this so, what so you, you want, want an experiment entertainment yeah <laughs> you want entertaining experiment that yields no data i, I want there to be data like, I just don't something want that the would probably not happen to be aware of like the exact agenda. Like I'm saying at at after all the scientists have gone to bed, like brant brant crazy alarms start going off. Like they have to scramble out of bed and go and figure out what it is that's going wrong. Then they have to suit up, go outside and like fix some crazy electrical box or something before this horrible storm hits like and they've yeah, got like 15 minutes to fucking do it go and i don't feel like and that's, then the velociraptors show and up. then the velociraptors <laughs> show up and they're like oh my god you guys shoot the velociraptors i'm almost finished here they didn't give us guns it's a geodesic dome well, well, we're fucked. Who? Why didn't they build spears or something? They they knew about the Velociraptors. Did they? <laughs> Did they They're know about scientists? Why, why didn't they build spears with all those trees on Mars? You know, I might be thinking of Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know, that, just a little bit. Never little mind. Bit. Never mind about the Velociraptors. Um, Martian dogs of war. Martian dogs yeah. of war. Mm. Rogue they rogue look rogue. a lot like Velociraptors. They're almost <laughs> identical in every rogue way. rovers. Just that's that's a serious threat. Yeah. I don't think we should joke about that. What rogue rovers? Yeah, red rover, red rovers, and no, no, rogue, rogue rover rovers. Rovers. It's basically rogue rovers. rovers that have uh, AI and they become sentient and they just start killing anybody that's out there. It's like a mad. See, that's so much more realistic. Like Martian Christine, like very, a Stephen very King good job, Christine five. on Mars. <laughs> very realistic. <clears throat> I mean, you guys are better at this than I am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm willing to admit my faults. Velociraptors. Now I'm that, all now I'm all for presenting like worst case scenarios. <laughs> like, all right, now you have a water system failure. You got to figure that stuff out, like springing that stuff on them. But I also think that you know, in terms of just throwing in a velociraptor, wild <laughs> velociraptor scenarios isn't going to really help them with anything. No, that's more for commercialization later on. Yeah. So you just gave me an idea, the, like Christine on Mars. I want, I want, I want to see other properties on Mars. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Go. So you got, you got, you got Christine on Mars. 
and then like uh, Jurassic Park on Mars. Okay. And then Jumanji on Mars. All right. And then they did uh, that one actually. It's called Zathura. Yeah. With Dax. that was just in space. That wasn't on Mars. Space. Yeah. They were on their way though. Jumanji <laughs> on Mars is next. <laughs> Then you want Fast and the Furious on Mars? Fast and Furious on Mars. There's, that's yeah, I like that thinking. One. That's That'd a big I'm writing that down. Because you that could down. really get, get Fast and it. Furious on you Mars. You certainly could. Vin Diesel definitely could. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And The Rock. Uh huh. Not Paul Walker. Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be an asshole sometimes. I mean, you know, <laughs> too soon. He did die. Too soon. He did. Very much too soon. We all are. We all are going to die. Okay. Oh, you saw. We, we all are. You're right. We all are. Are, are. if you Something. are, <laughs> you are. Imagine you will. <laughs> saw on Mars. Saw on Mars. Okay. Yeah. You saw fuck up. Mars. You're going outside. You're gonna have your head exploded. Right. Mm-hmm. Dick pic on Mars. Oh, oh shit. Or like, um, <laughs> uh, Mars attacks on Mars. On Mars. Sharknado on Mars. Shit. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. The mummy on Mars. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of sand. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You're screwed so, no matter what. Sand. Yeah, so like take all these properties that already exist, mm-hmm. on place Mars. them on Mars, see what happens. Yep. Like it's going to take box some finagle in here and there. Yeah, talking box on Mars. That's where our next show is going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be a lot like this. <laughs> and I'm going to be the only smart one with a... And then the show is taken over by the Velociraptors. Yes. <laughs> there it is. Or Martian Dogs of War, I think, <laughs> is what we're calling them. <laughs> Mostly Velociraptors. Yeah. On Mars. On Mars. No matter what, on Mars. But yeah, that's fun. <coughs> All right. I look forward to, to terraforming Mars. I know um, the old SpaceX fellow, uh, I, I remember Elon Musk. mentioning a quote that he, he said, which was, I want to die on Mars, just not on impact. Yeah, which I think is a good quote for a super billionaire that's in the <laughs> space industry to have. Yeah. yeah, it's a great quote. What um, would you call kisses on Mars? Um, kisses. But you have helmets on. Sandblasted goldfish. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to think of something to yeah. call it? Yeah. No, oh, don't bother. Uh, like bubble <laughs> bubble smooches. <laughs> <laughs> bubble smooches. Bubble smooches. Let me get a bubble smooch. Bog. <laughs> Gumball bumps. That was a good one. Was it? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, because gumball machine, you know. Yep. Thinking, How do you make a gumball machine? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to piece it all together, man. You're getting there. I'm You're telling you there. what. I'm just trying. To do uh, something. <laughs> so here's here's a bit of uh, you know the world is coming to an end. You guys probably heard that because it's yeah. it's all flat. And so, you know, as the oh flat earth begins to crumble, yeah. uh, Jesus will come back. 3.6 <laughs> magnitude quake hits northwest of Westwood in Los Angeles. And Westwood is where a lot of studios and stuff are. Okay. They got a lot of studios in Westwood. Studios. Yeah. Like, Hollywood kids. I used um, to be a Hollywood kid. Did Not you? Not really. I oh. just lived in California. Oh. It's okay. California's amazing sometimes. A, gu- a guy I grew up with actually... I don't know if he still is. He was living in West Hollywood for a while. Yo, that place is expensive. That's what he said. Of course, he, he was working for like a pharmaceutical company, so he was he had the money. I hear Hollywood is kind of like the little five of of Los Angeles. Kind of like the hipster area. With yeah, the, like kind of punky, kind of hipster, kind of like... I think that would know. be Long Beach. I always figured people would be in bathing suits <laughs> and stuff in Long Beach. Yeah. Mm. But maybe that's just because I'm not picturing it as like the whole area of Long Beach, yeah. but I'm just picturing maybe, the maybe beach. Maybe that's because I've never been to Long Beach. <laughs> Muscle well, Beach is on Long Beach. You should go and eat something from that region. You know mm. I want to. And then come back <laughs> and tell us all about it. <clears throat> if we go, I'm going to take you to this hole in the wall. Literally. It's like a crack in the wall, and they made a door out of it. So yeah. when, when you were in Cali, which was what, the first four or five years of your life? How long were you in Cali? Like most of his life. 20, oh, for six real? Years. Oh, okay. So you, you've recently come to Georgia then? Yeah. Okay. My, my I, thought you, I thought you watched the episode. Uh, the last two episodes have not come out. Um, The first episode that I was on. Oh, yeah, I watched that. Called out. Was that like three Ooh. weeks ago, four weeks ago? Just saying like that. Ago. We yeah, even like said it. Ago. We even said it. We were like, oh, hey, Tech, you just moved here like a couple months ago. Hmm. So yeah. you didn't watch it. Yeah, you got me. 
<laughs> so uh, I looked up how because you know we looked up uh, the hurricane naming process yeah. because yes, we there did. were there were a lot of things about that that I was unaware of. I didn't know about the master lists mm -hmm. and things like that. So I wanted to know what was the Richter scale. Okay. And so I looked up all of the facts about the Richter scale, and the Richter scale it ranges from <laughs> one to nine plus. Okay. Nine we've, plus. Nine it, plus. It doesn't have a top end. All right. That's like the iPhone. But we've never had a earthquake uh, measured above a nine. Okay. So we've had nines though. I believe we've had like eight sevens, eight nines, somewhere around there. Okay. Like, but I don't think there's anything measured on record above a nine. But there are forces that could reach ten and above. Okay. Um, but it's a, it's basically a logarithm. Um, and it indicates the intensity of an earthquake. So an earthquake rated at a five is actually <coughs> ten times more powerful than an earthquake rated at a four. Okay. Every time the number goes up, it's ten times in in power. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah, so from a one to a two, two is ten times more powerful than one. Three is ten times more powerful. So once you get up to, like, nine, you're talking about breaking the earth yeah like truly rendering the earth in pieces the perfect storm um it's not a storm it's her earthquake earthquake. Her 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 earthquake. earthquake just to give you like an idea of the scale a one is only detectable by seismographs and like uh mama cats <laughs> that have just recently had a litter because they're very sensitive if you know anything about mama cats they're you very know, sensitive they're very sensitive to the earth um <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> and it was named after Charles Francis Richter, mm -hmm. a U.S. seismologist and chief developer of the scale in the year of our Lord, 1938. Uh, so basically, a one is barely detectable by right. machines. A seven is like toppling buildings. Okay. So that kind of gives you an idea of, A, when the when it was originated, who did it, and what it actually kind of means. Who did it? Uh, it was Richter, Charles Richter. Oh, I thought you meant like who, 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 did, the did, the who uh, did the earthquake? Which <laughs> one of you was that's it? That's the year of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> who did so, it? So, so, so what? What category was the? Uh, it was only a three point six. Three point six on the yeah, Richter which scale. isn't for Californians. That's kind of like a eh. we expect these. Mm -hmm. You know, like a little a little rumbly in a little the jostle. house, rumbly in the tumbly. You, know, you might oh, have boy. a picture frame fall over kind of thing. What, we've had a couple of earthquakes here in the Atlanta area uh, in the past few years. I don't. I think they were like what twos or something like that. Like they. Yeah. I don't know. It's a. It's it's part of the Tennessee fault line from you know the Appalachian mm -hmm. range, but. The Appalachian mountain range is so old yeah. that, like, the Tennessee fault line is not very active. There have been speculations that it could become active again right. at some point, but that's just one of like, those. Like a tortoise. Hmm. Kind this of is true. Like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> because tortoises sleep for a while. They live a really long time, and they barely ever get active sexually. Oh. And if when they do, they go. They do. Eh. I'm thinking more along the lines of like a bear, where it's in sort of a hibernation period. Yeah, that's not as long though. No, and we're also not talking about uh, the sex turtles. S yeah, chocolate. teenage mutants, sex Everybody turtles. <laughs> Sexually. Go on. No, I'm I'm really done Sexually. talking about uh, all of this. Actually. <laughs> so, Those like, are, I, I can't say that I've ever experienced an earthquake, <coughs> though. Like, not noticeably. I've yeah, I've never I experienced there, it. It seems like it'd be a jostling. There's been several times where I've I've been in an area where there was an earthquake here in in Georgia, or you know, people were like, "Oh, did anybody feel that earthquake?" I'm like, no, nope, no, it didn't. But I it does make you. for really great memes where it's like earthquake. It's like <gasps> earthquake 2016. And it's like a, a lawn chair that's knocked over, and it just says, "We will rebuild." <laughs> that like, sounds like us. Yeah, that's that's we Georgia. Are a, we are a resilient people here in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. our wind does more damage than the earth at our that's feet. That's a hundred percent true. <laughs> I mean, we've survived. I don't know how many snowpocalypses over the last few years. Yeah. One, at least. <laughs> And then a velociraptor comes out. And we get ice storms like every yeah, almost and, and every year. We we so. make it through every yeah. time. You guys' hail gets huge over here. Does it? Yeah. It's like this big outside of my house. Show the camera. 
Like that big. Like cool. my eyeball. Like eyeball sized hail. <laughs> that my could eyeball. mess up a car. Yeah, it can. And an eyeball. I was scared. Yeah. And definitely mess up an eyeball. Yeah. Oh, man. You get an if eyeball in your eyeball? But if it's Ooh. hailing outside and you're staring <laughs> up at the sky, like, I feel like... You kind of have it coming, right? You deserve at least one. You you got to get at least one. <laughs> you're asking for it at that point. <laughs> you need one to know. Yeah. I agree. I I've never, I've never really sh- had to deal with hail. Like, I've never noticeably dealt with hail. Like, I've, I've definitely dealt with the ice storms where just walk outside and my car is literally just covered in, like, a half inch of ice. And then, well... I'm not going anywhere for the next couple of days. <coughs> that, those are some good days, though. Just I mean, tracks. as long as you got power and heat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been caught in uh, in a parking lot during a sudden hailstorm, yeah. and it it legitimately wasn't as bad as I thought. They were decent size. They weren't eyeball size, maybe half an eyeball, mm-hmm. but roughly. It. I feel like because. I guess their weight, their terminal velocity isn't that high. And so, like, I don't really remember it being painful. I have been driving during a hailstorm and was dumb enough to stick my hand outside the window. And one of those catches you at about 65 miles an hour on the knuckle. Yeah. And that shit hurts. <laughs> that'll, that'll leave a Well, bridge. you can, You also have to do your car speed 65. The falling down speed of the hail... Hitting your knuckle, sixty-five miles an hour plus this much. Oh, yeah. yep. Somebody work out that physics. Yeah, it's it's like seventy miles an hour. Something <laughs> like that. It's a whole bunch of miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, it add a few more extra miles yeah. an hour, but because it's not coming straight at you, and because, like I said, its terminal velocity isn't extremely high. Like, I bet it is. You think so? I don't know. You have no idea. You know, the yeah. terminal velocity is based <coughs> off of mass. Yes. Okay. And you know the mass of frozen <coughs> water isn't extreme. Could be. You could be. I could be. All I right. could be extreme. <laughs> you sh- like extreme. a bag of Doritos with a Mountain <laughs> Dew spilled in it. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing that's weird about Georgia. Mountain Dew flavored Doritos? You're fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would love that because I, I do I'd try do. it out. <laughs> Do the do all the time. Would you? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I believe you would. I'll try his juice box liquor and those Mountain Dew Doritos. Juice box liquor. <laughs> Please. Please. Has anybody sent us any juice box liquor yet? No, because really that episode something. isn't on the internet yet. <laughs> all right, well, when we put this episode up after that episode, you're going to get two messages in a row. Yeah. Send us juice box liquor. Juice box liquor. That's what with I want a, more than anything right now. With a stabby yeah. sippy straw. Yeah. Mm. Got to have a stabby sippy straw. Like a... Capri Don't song. tell me it fell off at the store either. <laughs> I feel like Nobody's Jason would be the one the that like would take off the the sippy straw, flip it upside down, stab the bottom. That's how you do it. It's not how you do it. That's definitely how you do it. You, you definitely do it. stab the bottom. Not in a juice box. Well, not in a juice box. No, in the Capri Sun pouch. It's also not how you do it. Definitely, you're how just you do bad it. at Capri Sun. No. <laughs> how how do you stand that thing up? Hmm? The Capri yeah, how Sun. Do you, how do you set it how down? How do you not drink it in a single gulp? <laughs> How do you nurse oh, a Capri Sun? He's, he's, making, he's making valid arguments. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> how, do you not, how do you nurse a Capri Sun? All right, for one thing, does, does that I mean the big you're, ones. you're I the big that good at <laughs> sucking straws? I'm just saying, I think you're making a game out of it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you, you set your Capri Sun down. Like, I'll get back to the other half a fluid ounce of that juice <laughs> later <laughs> when I'm really thirsty. Like, no, a juice box. <laughs> Boom, I squished it in my hand, ejected the flavor into my mouth, and I move on with my day. Dude. <laughs> Sometimes you do like to savor a Capri Sun, but it is not very often. What? It's not very often. You, you're, I'm thir- if I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. I'm with Jason. I'm, I'm pounding that thing. It's going down. You weren't in school, and you're like, yo, I only got a juice box and my lunch bowls. Right. I would, I would hit up the water fountain before lunch. That way I could enjoy my Capri Sun. But, in one gulp. Well, no, I would enjoy my Capri Sun at lunch, but if I'm like outside playing, then I come inside and have a quick Capri Sun, it's down. It's gone. Yeah, so, but then, then, now that's that's two scenarios that you just uh, called out for. Right, but I only have one lunch a day. I, I can drink countless Capri Suns in a day. You know what I did at a high school lunch? I got I got money for lunch, like $2 Taken a day. Taken from me from people. Yeah, <laughs> they would beat me up and they would just take that yep, shit. of course. And that's why I am the way I am. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, I would get $2 for lunch, and I, instead of spending $2 on lunch, 
I would just uh, basically look over the entire cafeteria of who had lunch with me, figure out who all the picky eaters were, and then I would just pocket my lunch money, and every lunchtime I would just go like person to person to person and take all of the items. <laughs> you only that, got cornbread? <laughs> yeah, you don't want that? Like, oh, you don't want that? Like, oh, you don't eat this? And then I would basically get like a whole crap load of all of the stuff nobody wanted <laughs> and fill up on it and then save all of my money mm-hmm. um, so that I could I mean, buy, you know, video games he, and stuff. He's that guy. Oh, you don't need this? I was going to eat that. Oh, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it back. <laughs> No, no, I, I don't do want to. You touched it. You're allergic to chocolate, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to disrespect somebody's food. That's There's a lot of things I will do. That, that's but, how you get stabbed. Yeah, but that's that's not me. I'm not that kind of asshole. Like, Especially when he went to high school. I'm a top many tier, years ago. Top yeah. tier asshole. Many, many years ago. Yeah. Back, back when Jason went to high school, there was only 10 grades. So. Yeah. And, they and only allowed, ten people, and they, they were allowed to carry weapons to to school. And my the school was were. actually on a hill uh, that you had to go uphill in order to like. Oh, get I didn't know that you had to go class. uphill o- on o- a hill. Only one teacher with a string and a bell to announce classes. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it was weird because like every time that bell rang, they had they had to go out of the of the building and then come back in. There's only one classroom. Yeah. But you have to change classes. So yeah. yeah, they didn't have backpacks. He just yeah. carried everything around on a belt. Yep, just, <laughs> just wrap a it belt up. thrown over his shoulder. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all true. <laughs> his favorite uh, sport was jumping over fences. Yeah, his his favorite sport was yeah. uh, walking to school. Yeah. yeah, which happened to have a lot of jumping over fences involved. Yeah. No wonder when, why you're skinny. When all the other kids got overalls, it was like high fashion. Y'all remember the beginning of Forrest Gump? Nope. Exactly like that. Okay. There you have it. Yeah. Hmm. Like, my mom had sex with the principal and everything. Didn't your mom watch this show? Actually, Forrest Gump was based <laughs> on me, except I'm a Mountain Dew guy, not a Dr. Pepper guy. I like Dr. Pepper, but they went a little, they took it their own way right. with the Dr. Pepper thing. Everything else, factual about my life. <laughs> oh, Google facts. The, the leg thing? Yeah. The leg thing, yeah. Richard Nixon, the all of it. The thing? Yeah. Yeah, the shrimp company. company. Gerald Ford, you got it. LBJ. So you've seen it. The Velociraptor. <laughs> yes. Uh, was Gerald at, Ford in that movie? I don't at know. the end, LBJ was. You don't know. I do know. LBJ was in it. You don't know. He's the one that looked at uh, your. I'm butt. pretty sure um, those guys were dead. He gave you that dog kiss. Yeah. Gerald Ford. Is Gerald Ford dead? Dead. Believe he may have recently passed. Actually, he might have, I think yeah. he recently passed. Yes. Okay. Google so he was alive, <laughs> but dollar. LBJ and Richard Nixon <laughs> were plenty dead when <laughs> they made that movie about plenty me. dead, extra dead, <laughs> super <laughs> with a side yeah. of rolling over in their grave. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Man, I owe Jackie like ten bucks. By I now. feel like you're bringing this upon yourself. But it's such a good phrase. Oh. <laughs> it's like. You say something, and then I know you're just like, Google the facts. Yeah, he, he died uh, 11 years ago. Who, Gerald Ford? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, more than a short time ago. Yeah. But after that movie came out? Yes, after between, the movie came between out. Forrest Probably about Gump 10 years after that movie yeah. came out. Somewhere between Forrest Gump and now, mm-hmm. the former president. You mean your documentary? Gerald like your, yes. bi- your biography. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, it, my name was Woodsy Martin. They called me Woodsy Martin. Did they? Yeah. And they they said that that wasn't going to play, <laughs> that they had to like tweak it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for so, legal purposes? For legal purposes. So you purposes, wouldn't get any money out so of it? So that I couldn't yeah. receive any royalties <laughs> off of my story. Yeah, that sounds right. <sighs> what are you going to do? Not get money off your story, apparently. Yeah. Woodsy Martin. Woodsy Martin. And then you went with Jason for some reason? Yeah. Well, Woodsy was just a nickname. Like I didn't How'd have you get any, that? Uh, KKK ancestor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> did, didn't you watch Forrest Gump? I did, but I also recall you being a poor black man. <laughs> this, oh, yeah. This is also true. Maybe I just make stuff up. <laughs> maybe Talk it out of your ass. ass. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just make stuff up. Right. And then you want to, like, legitimize the things that I'm obviously I'm just looking up. for canon here. <laughs> just, <laughs> what's, just what's, 
Who is <laughs> who is this Jason? <laughs> right. Maybe the story is actually about um, Bubba from Forrest Gump. Uh huh. And maybe and like you're Bubba, and I I was Bubba. Benjamin Buford Blues. Yeah. And so like maybe I was that part in the story. Maybe. And, and that's not that what you said a minute ago. That was actually a documentary. Well, you know what? I was making stuff up then. I'm making stuff up now. <laughs> I'm going to make some stuff up later. I need you to keep it all in check, though. I, I'm going to need you to start writing it down. Your storyline you know starts from right here. He's got a ends over here, of a bubblegum over here machine. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's, a, it's a great <laughs> bubblegum machine. You know what? I think we need to talk about what we learned today. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Is it time for that? Yeah. Are you sure? I have no idea what time we started. So I, I do. <laughs> oh, good. I do, yeah. Good. It is time for that. Dave, what did you learn today? Today I learned that uh, the Richter scale goes from 1 to 9 plus, just like the iPhone, probably. No, iPhone went to X. It did go to which X. Which is 10. It did go to X and get a whole bunch of features that have already been around. On Samsung. Yeah. And Google. I will hate on iPhone forever. Yep. It's, it's, okay, it's okay that they've done those features poorly in the past, and now they're going to perfect it. It's all right. That's what they do. Poorly. Well, <laughs> exploding phones. All right. Anyway. iPhone apologist. Listen. Well, I, I learned that a bunch of me. boring scientists had a big old boring time <laughs> in Hawaii doing some boring stuff. In a biodome when they didn't biodome. have Polly Shore or Stephen Baldwin. None of them. Yeah. Or a Velociraptor. Or, or Velociraptor. Or, or sexy scientist girls that what fall what in love with Polly Shore. Uh, or that uh, that other crazy scientist guy that was also from uh, Real Genius. Oh, yeah. Yep. You were asking about kissing the shit out of that <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my nose needs some love right now. I learned something else today that Tech has an obsession with Eskimo kissing. He loves them. Mm-hmm. Tech, what did what did you learn today? Cool. Excellent. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I learned that Jason wants to be black. Yeah, that's uh, that's not far from the truth. <laughs> What'd you learn? Did you already do yours? I don't uh, know. Yeah, I, I learned that uh, Tech enjoys climbing the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. He sees himself more of a Godzilla man than a King Kong man. Right. Um, and I, I just wanted to share the hashtags that we collected today. Oh, what do we today. get? I, I have three of them. Mm-hmm. Um, hashtag show me your genitals. <laughs> hashtag porno dick is your dick. <laughs> and lastly, uh, hashtag Paul Rubin jerks it. <laughs> These all are all things actual, I've said. <laughs> all <laughs> actual quotes. Wait, was the first one something that was actually said? Yeah. Yes. yes. What was it again? Uh, show me your genitals. <laughs> hashtag I, I show even, me your genitals. I even phrased it as a hashtag. Oh. Yeah, hashtag and then I took I took porno dick as your tick and added a hashtag gotcha, and gotcha, Paul Rubin yeah. jerks it and turned into a hashtag. I was not paying attention to you earlier. We no, you rarely do. That's and true. I really say a lot of witty things on this show. I mean, you say a lot of things. And you you just blast me <laughs> every chance you get. I hope that That is gross. I have never seen that. I don't want to. I, I like this it. hashtag of the day thing. I, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing that. Yeah, you like that hashtags yeah. of the day. That was are, fun. We, are we at an hour yet? Oh yeah, we're there. Yeah, S and M Brian hashtag show me your genitals. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're gonna get dick picking. Oh yeah, he's gonna send you a phone to dick pick it. He better dress that sucker up. Yeah, he better the top dress, hat and spectacles. Dress that bad boy up. I want him in like a, a Miami Vice kind of outfit, <laughs> like a like a what are those <coughs> Florida shirts called? The button up. Floral Hawaiian it's shirts. A, that Florida shirt is a Hawaiian yeah. shirt. Yeah. It's somewhere beachy. Okay. <laughs> they wear them in Florida too. Right. Good night, everybody. Uh, I had things to say. Oh, what do you have to I'm say? I'm not done. Yeah, you. I in this show. Oh well, I'm subscribe. Sorry. I'm important. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, if you've been receiving dick pics and you want help in or uh, getting revenge on those guys, hit us up on Facebook or something. Yeah. Should we uh, zoom in on your face while you're saying that? No, I don't care. Good night, everybody. Good night, night. everybody.